This is the July 25th, 2021 reading of Blossom Good Child's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hello. Couldn't get to you before now, yet very excited to continue on from the cliffhanger we were left dangling from last time we spoke. May we? Dearest souls, dearest Blossom, we are very much looking forward to continuing on this topic for most of today. You have questions, we believe. Yes, thank you. People have asked about their crystals. You spoke of six vast crystals beneath the earth that will be charged during this happening. Will this be the same for all crystals, personal ones, etc.? Indeed, it will. It is most important to keep one's personal crystals cleansed by ways already known to many. In example, washing in the ocean, running under water after rubbing in earth, saging, intentions via one's own energy from hands, etc. One will know all that which suits. At the appointed time, all crystals will resonate with the vibrational frequency of what is taking place. One may also find that in the weeks beforehand, their crystals may take on a different appearance, perhaps have an unusual glow about them. And also, one would be very much aware of the pulsing vibration coming, being offered from them. And what effect will this have? What is this purpose? Energy. Not just personally, yet for each crystal to play their part and be a part of this great transformation, this great awakening. It shall be as we spoke of with the monoliths, as if they are communicating with one another in order to be in sync and have maximum effect. Thank you. Another query. Will the Dark Ones still be able to function after this has taken place? No. Uh, can you elaborate on that? That which is coming, Blossom, that which this event will bring with it, is of such light, such energy change, for, of, all that is, both on and off planet. This is why we have said all eyes are on your planet, as it is part of the upliftment of everything, for everything is connected. This love light that is to sweep over, through and within, is of a magnitude that has not yet been experienced in such a way. So, what will happen to the naughty folk? Blossom, it is for one to understand that each and every one is playing a role, which we accept is hard to accept. The souls of many of such beings will leave immediately via disintegration. Excuse me? Yes, Blossom. It shall be as if their physical being literally crumbles and disintegrates. Seriously? Truly? Really? For real? Yes, for real, Blossom. For the energy that is carried within the entire body and soul of such naughty folk is so diseased that the wave of love, the strength within it, will cause such beings to crumble, for it cannot possibly survive within the vibrational frequency that the wave brings. Yet to literally crumble? Oh, come now. Sounds more and more sci-fi. We understand that it may sound far-fetched, for your programming has been so normalized, and all thought of such happenings leads you to believe such things are only make-believe. Okay. So, what happens to the soul when it leaves the body of a dark one? That is a long and drawn-out tale. Such souls will automatically be whisked, directed, to a place where there shall be atonement for their behavior. It is law that what you do unto another, you do unto yourself. And we ask that, if you are able and advanced enough in thought and spirit, to send love and light to such souls. For although they have been a part of great darkness, at the same time they chose to play that role, as life in all forms twists and turns 
continues on forever. Is this the case for all? No. Many will change and see the error of their ways and be allowed to remain within their human physicality, to make good and repent of their ways. Some may find that hard to accept. Not once the wave has enlightened the souls upon earth by many, many vibrational degrees. For you see, Blossom, when this light energy is absorbed into your being, and one recognizes home and who they truly are within that home, all one, all everyone desires, is for forgiveness of what has taken place upon your planet, and to assist in every loving way possible to return your earth plane to the original beauty of not just the planet, yet all those who dwell within and upon her. Once this event takes place, nothing will be the same again. We ask you to know this in your heart, to know that a new world is coming, and all that one is having to endure in ways of living in darkness shall be lifted. Well, I hope so, because things are looking very bleak for our future, unless something massive such as this takes place. If only we knew when. Yet I know we can't, so I won't ask. We thank you for following through in discretion. We have come to understand much of your ways over this time, as you have indeed come to understand much of ours. Okay, onwards, if I may. Let us not dilly-dally. This may be a bit tricky for you to answer. Yet from the start of the signal for the monoliths through to the opening of the seven portals, are we talking in a flash, a few minutes, days, weeks? This is unknown to us, for this is not within time. Each section, an example, the monoliths being activated and communicating with each other, etc., must be completed before the trigger, so to speak, can be released for the next movement. In this case, the main centers, grids, ley lines, to begin their correspondence, and so on and so forth. In my mind, I'm seeing it happening quite quickly, like within 24 hours or something. We cannot foretell this. If we were to try, we would say over a matter of a few days. Yet it is a process. So one would feel and experience it throughout. You say that's when our envelopes will be fully activated. So a bit of confusion here. Does everyone have an envelope to be activated? As that wouldn't make sense, because if that were the case, no one would need help from the awakened ones. I'm not sure if I'm being clear here. Yes, we understand. Each one has an envelope, for there is no bias as to any one being better than another. However, depending according to how much one has chosen to awaken to their light, and therefore the situation before them, that which any one envelope contains regarding information as to their role will differ enormously. For one who has been very much asleep, their envelope may allow their heart to feel and experience so much love, yet it does not necessarily make them aware of what just happened. This is where those who have been awake for a time a long time, are able to take on their leadership roles and lead souls to the bridge, which we have spoken of many times. The bridge being metaphorical, of course. I mean, we're not all going to have maps in our envelopes with an arrow saying, to the bridge, are we? <laughs> Naturally not. Yet, the bridge is certainly the best way we can describe to you of imagining, visualizing that which is to take place to assist one in coming to the edge of it and walking across. Into a higher dimension. Correct. We ask there to be no concern, for, as we say, 
everyone will know their position and follow it through. It is hard to imagine exactly what will take place and what it will be like. Yet, when it is upon you, it will be so familiar, for it is of you. I really, 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 really feel at odds in asking this, yet I feel it necessary. You said at the beginning of last year that it wouldn't come to the point of there being mandatory vaccinations. Yet, we are getting very, very close to that, and it would mean for many losing their livelihood if they did not play along. So, in a sense, unless something huge happens soon, it will and is coming to that point, assuming you're aware of all this. Blossom, look at all that is taking place around you, around your planet. Floods, fires, unrest, great unrest. There is a buildup of energies that are moving towards a climactic. Ah, I thought you were to say event. Then at the last minute, I thought you were sending through the word announcement instead. Ah, another pot of Valium, please. I can't keep up. Which is it? Can we not say both? You can say what you like, for it's up to each soul to use their own discretion and feel into their truth. Me, I'm just a messenger doing the best I can to bring through the truth. It is nearing closing time with you for this session. Yet we desire with all our beingness that you know that what is to take place shall do so in divine timing. What we ask of you as we say, is to feel this knowing within your beings and hold on to that truth, no matter what is appearing to be before you. Continue on with the mantra, I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. For it builds energy around, upon, and within your planet in order to play its part in what is to come. We love you. I think I can speak for many when I say, we love you. There we go then, in gratitude, in loving service. I am.